Get those damn thrashy horns up for the, the legends of, of thrash metal, damn you. Exodus, that's what we're doing today. We just did uh, uh, the beating will continue until morale improves a reaction video. And then a white bread and several other people have mentioned that they have a brand new single out. And I says, well, maybe I'll wait uh, a whole week or so before I get around to watching it for the first time. Or... I can slip it right into the first listens for next week and we can listen to the song clickbait kaplang right now. So that's what we're going to do because I'm a sneaky little devil. And so what we're going to do is learn about this legendary band, this fantastic legendary band whom I met all of uh, way back in the early days of the Flat Fabulous Disaster Toxic Walls Tour. Um, uh, and then we're going to listen to the song clickbait. And you know, it's, it's Exodus, man. It better be good, right? Uh, so let's learn about the band, then we'll listen to Clickbait from Exodus. Here we go. Exodus, they have 580,393 uh, monthly listeners on the Spotify account. Top five songs. Can you guess what they are? Um, blacklist. I'm jotting your name on my blacklist. Uh, and then, of course, the Toxic Walls. Well, let's see. Blacklist has 11.5 million listens. Uh, the Toxic Walls has 11.1 .1 million listens. You got The Beatings Will Continue, moving up the charts there for Exodus, right? 311,000 plays. Good Day to Die, that's off that album uh, that I was talking about last time we brought, I think it was on the uh, the reaction uh, for, for the video where I said, what was the name of the, it had the uh, very weird artwork on it, it's called Force of Habit, uh, the 1992 album. That's where uh, Good Day to Die comes from. I want to say that song right there is kind of that acoustic-y jam that they put up. And War Is My Shepherd at 3.9 million plays. Now we're going to look into albums and see what this band has released. I'm going to be familiar with quite a bit of it. There was a big hunk there in the middle. I think it was when Steve Souza left that I kind of tuned out for a while. But uh, all systems go now, right? Uh, Bonded by Blood, 1985. Uh, uh, Scott Ian will tell you that is the greatest thrash metal record ever created. Uh, I loved 1987's Pleasures of the Flesh. Um, you know, I like chives. I like to eat a, a nice salad when you have something in mind. Uh, if you've listened to that album, you know what that is. Ta uh, Fabulous Disaster, 1989. Great album. Impact is Imminent. That also had a uh, kind of a toxic waltzy jam on it. And what was that called? The Lunatic Parade. When you do so good with a toxic waltz, you better come up with another one. We, the next album, we got to have another toxic waltz. Let's do the Lunatic Parade. Then is where things got a little bizarre for me. Uh, Force of Habit, I didn't find myself deeply into. That was 1992. Another Lesson in Violence, 1997. Tempo of the Dam, 2004. Shovel-Headed Kill Machine, uh, I didn't listen to any of these albums. The Atrocity e Exhibition, 2007. Let There Be Blood, 2008. Exhibit B, The Human Condition, 2010. Blood In, Blood Out. Um, I want to say, is that when Steve Souza came back? I'm, I'm not quite as up to date on those last few albums, but I want to say Blood In, Blood Out. Uh, Steve Souza was back at that point. Uh, now what we're going to do is look into the related artists, and it's going to be a cavalcade of all the best of the best, right? Even my dear sweet Overkill, whom I, I can, is one of my all-time personal favorite uh, thrash bands. And I didn't even look down. I didn't even look down, but right here you've got as the first artist Overkill. And then, of course, you got Testament, Violence, all the Bay Area thrash, right? Death Angel, Whiplash. Sacred Reich, that's some uh, Arizona boys, right? Are they from Arizona? Destruction, that's some German, uh, beautiful, wonderful music. Evil, you got Dark Angel. Tankard, I still need to check out more Tankard. I'm not the, the amazing and, and absolutely delightful creator and Sodom. So what a wonderful group of bands to be associated with. Um, and you've got an image here, and it's uh, the band, it's black and white, and they're all standing behind an old barn, and they're saying, you know what, we're going to come over there, Shane, and kick you square in the butthole. Um, I don't think they would want to do that to me, but uh, you, you never can tell. Uh, when we think of the phrase bonded by blood, we think of two things, a brotherhood that is 
meant to outlast the trials of war, pain, and time, and the almighty exodus. Amen. With a bond forged in youth and decade old, decades-old friendship, the undisputed masters of thrash metal return with their 11th studio album, Persona Non Grata. That's where this song is from. Um, due to be released on November 19th, 2021 on Nuclear Blast Records. Uh, should we read this next paragraph? For decades, Exodus has impressed us with the ability to attract opposing factions in their music because of its intensity and versatility. Ex Exodus don't fall into the usual recording slump that most bands get stuck in. Gathering at Tom Huntington's house up in the mountains, they avoid the need to book studio time or adhere to a certain schedule. You know what? That's funny. I I'm glad Tom Huntington, he's, he's recovering from his, his battle with cancer, and he's a badass uh, all the way around. But uh, uh, Steve Souza was put, he's got a channel called uh, Zetro's uh, uh, Toxic Vault or something like that. And uh, he was doing some videos from up in a nice location like that. And now I know that uh, that wooded uh, woodland area that he was saying we're up here recording was Tom Huntington's house. So good job. It is that time, my dear, wonderful, and fine, and fantastic folks. We're going to get into the song Clickbait um, from this band, from the amazing Exodus. Uh, I'm very excited. I hope that it's going to be a fire burner like uh, that last one was. Uh, so let's get into this. Uh, this is the magic nipple tit. Takes us into the world of Exodus and the song Clickbait. If I click this, is it going to be, is it going to be clickbait? Or they're going to go... You know, I'm going to get Rick rolled or something. Uh, here we go. Let's take it. Let's do it. Let's just do it. Great guitar tone that Gary Holt has. Beautiful drumming. Voice is holding up nice too. Never awake, you're always asleep. Someone put the lyrics to this in the comments below. It's shredding it up. One chord sounds weird, that note. Never awake, you're always asleep. Another solo.
If I can play half as good as he can. So not so nice. Hearing only one way is what they think what is what we need. Never awake, always asleep. God damn it. Yeah, starting up uh, the beatings will continue. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. I can honestly say I am looking forward to this album, Persona Non Grata. I am looking forward to it. Uh, I think it's going to be a goddamn barn burner. And you know what? If you can go and up to a mountain, mountain resort, sit kind, kind of a situation area, and you can just spend, relax, spend time, not worried about goddamn uh, uh, expenses and money, and you can you can create. Uh, I think that's going to be the best thing for Exodus to do because I, I predict this album is going to be a banger from beginning to end, okay? But what say you? Most important part of my videos, as always, is where you get in the comments below. <sighs> a good song always makes me breathe hard. Uh, it's where you get in the comments below and tell me exactly what you think. It's not, not important, my opinion. What I like to look at is the comments below and think what and find out what you think of the songs that we do here. Good, great, fantastic. Shane, I am an absolutely huge fan of Exodus. How many times have you seen this band live? Are you from the area? Are you over there by Bobby? I think Bobby's in the Bay Area. He's probably seen these guys. I know good old Paul O. He, Paul O used to hang out around on the channel, and uh, I, I know he was seeing a lot of old uh, Bay Area thrash bands as well, but... Uh, how many times have you seen the band live? What is your all-time favorite album from Exodus? Are you looking forward to Persona, Persona Non Grata? What do you think of the song Clickbait? And why in the hell did he... he did, I don't think he said clickbait at all. He said, always awake and never sleep. Or always asleep, never awake. I can't remember. Anyways, I, didn't, I don't remember hearing him say uh, clickbait at all. Uh, but uh, that's because maybe you're just clicking around so much on stuff that you never go to sleep and, you're, and you don't... You don't know what to ever believe because you're clicking around so much on, on garbage and junk that you just suck in the, the headline and you don't get to the meat and potatoes of the story. Um, what is your top five Exodus songs of all time? Are you a Paul Bailoff man or are you a Steve Sousa man? Or, are you, can, or can you handle both? I can handle both. Um, or you could say, not good, not great. Shame, it thrashed too tight and right for me. It was too damn delicious for my ears. I like softer hard rock. I like hard rock. I like hard, hard rock, and I like softer hard rock. And I like some heavy metal, but this was just a little too fast, furious, and, uh, and uh, gut-wrenching for me. So I'm going to go ahead and say, it's not my cup of tea. Hard pass, thank you very much. All of that can be put in the comments below. If you have a hard rock, a heavy metal special request, you want to see it on the channel, if you want to see it on the channel, we can get it on for you. Just click that link in the description below. We will get it on for you. Or you can always, as always, put it in the comments. We do get them out of the comments, so we will get to yours if we ever get to it, if you put it in the comments. That's all I got for this, okay? Swinging in. Exodus. Hmm.